Well, Lauren, it has been a tragic week, and today this church opened its doors to the community, inviting them to come and support the Black Lives Matter movement and to reflect on what's going on in the country right now. And dozens of people showed up. Many I spoke to today have never been here before, nor are they affiliated religiously, but they said they just felt like they needed to be with others during this difficult time. When I heard about these shootings and stuff, it really upset me because I just didn't understand like why we just, it just keeps happening again and again. In one week, the United States had two high-profile police killings of black men and five police officers dead after a sniper shot them down during a protest. On Sunday, people gathered for a vigil in Santa Cruz to grieve, to talk, and to plan for a better future. And how many times do we have to like get together to have a vigil or have a march or have a rally? You know, there needs to be action. To start, the cops again need to be held accountable for their actions, just like anybody that's on the street. This year, local NAACP president Simba Kenyatta was asked to speak at the police academy graduations. And he says Santa Cruz County is already taking steps to improve the relationship between police and the community. To have a police that's in favor of a civilian police review board is unheard of. And Sheriff Hart thinks that there should be police accountability through a civilian police review board. That's unheard of. Many are fearful and say recent events show there is still much more progress to be made in America. Parents are still having to tell, tell the young black men, be careful when you go out here because you may not come home. This is like the 21st century. We're not supposed to be doing that still. I am very worried about his future, and I'm not just worried about him, I'm worried about our entire society as a whole. Yeah, it's going to take our government, it's going to take the people that are in charge to realize enough's enough. And today's event was focused on prayer and reflection, but I am told a local protest is in the works. In the meantime, uh, the people that I spoke to today, today say that they hope that, if anything, events like this can start a dialogue between people in the community of different backgrounds. Lauren? Absolutely. That's where we start. Thanks, Bianca.